The 6th of January, Wednesday, 2021, I don't know how to respond to what we have seen uh, today. I honestly don't know how to respond to it, except to say this is, this is what Trump has wanted for years. This is what Rush Limbaugh has wanted for years. This is what every filthy, stinking, America-hating right-winger has wanted for years. Now, I'm recording this around 5 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Time because I've been, as you probably have, following this on several channels on television, flipping back and forth since I only have one TV. But um, in looking at the images and looking at these pictures and this mob of filth, of dirt, dirt bags of, of the worst sort, Trump supporters, dirt bags, filth, scum, attacked the capital of the United States. I, I really am uh, twisted up with uh, responses that are purely emotional and probably should not uh, be the responses that eventually result from this because I, I'm, I'm, I'm more emotional than, um, than the law. Let's put it that way. But to me, every single scum, every dirt bag, every QAnon thug, every one of these pricks who, who did this, they'll be easily identified, most of them. They should be rounded up, put on trial for sedition, and then jailed for the rest of their natural lives. Trump should be hauled out of the White House under arrest for sedition, for treason, for leading a, a revolution against the United States, put on trial, sentenced and jailed for the rest of his filthy life. His son and Giulia Giuliani, his son Donald Trump Jr. the same way. And every single Republican in the House and the Senate who has been encouraging this degenerate over the past four years. I, I, I guess you can't be put on trial, you filthy dogs, you scum. No insult to dogs there, I'm sorry. But there should be some penalty for what you have done. Every single one of these Republicans knew from the get-go that Trump was a lying mob boss, Ever since his, his opening speech of, of, about American carnage? Are you fucking kidding me? The carnage in this country has been led by Trump over the past four years. And before I get too far into whatever I'm going to say, because I have no idea, let me ask you a question. Um, the slowness in terms of reaction of the authorities in Washington, D.C., to me was appalling. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine if, I don't know what the number was of these dirt bags, this mob, uh, let, let's say 20,000. Can you imagine if 20,000 African Americans, Black Lives Matter people, banners held up high, justice for all banners held up high, don't kill me, banners held up high. Can you imagine what would have happened how many people now, three or four hours after this filthy dirtbag Trump started this, how many black bodies would be laying in the streets of D.C. and on the steps of the Capitol and in the Senate chambers? Can you imagine the slaughter that would have occurred? Well, you better try to imagine it, my white brothers and sisters, because you know goddamn good and well that would have happened. Black folk would have been cut down with, with any kind of weapon available. There would have been more fucking police on the steps of the Capitol than, than there are in D.C. It would have been a bloodbath. But that didn't happen. Black folk don't do shit like that. 
black folk parade and chant and sing and pray and ask for understanding. And in certain instances, when black folk are continually gunned down in the street, they demand justice, whether justice comes or not. And in most cases, it does not. But these white predators, these white dirtbags, have you seen some of the pictures of these people? I'd like to suspend my membership in, in the white race right now. I, 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 I would. I, I realize that's a bullshit statement. I, I know that. But to see these scum peeking through broken windows into the House chamber with, with, with Secret Service people, their guns out, pointing at these white faces, these beasts, these dirtbags, these monsters, I, I don't understand why they didn't just shoot. The whole storming of Capitol Hill was organized on social media. This was not a surprise. Law enforcement, I, I, don't, I don't give a shit to what degree. Secret Service, Capitol Police, D.C. Police, Metropolitan Police. If they didn't know this was going to happen, to the extent that they were not prepared then every one of them should be fucking fired tomorrow. What is wrong with you people? You didn't know that this orange dirt bag and his filthy followers, these disgusting looking pricks who call themselves all sorts of cute little names. You didn't know this was going to happen. You didn't listen to this orange dirt bag stand out there this morning and early afternoon in front of the, uh, the, the White House or the Capitol, wherever he was, exhorting these, these other dirt bags to go commit this kind of, of, of massive crime against the United States. Round them up, try them, lock them for the rest of their lives or turn it over to me. Let me handle it. I will put every one of these fuckers up against a wall. Are you kidding me? This kind of shit? They are not protesters. This was a mob of gangsters, thugs, punks, assholes, losers, terrorists, protesters, my ass. The way they talked about the Black Lives Matter protests earlier this year, this, it, it's just astonishing. I hope that my black brothers and sisters understand that while this country is and always has been neck deep in hypocrisy and lies and deception against them, that there are some white folk who are trying, honest to fucking God, we're trying to bring justice to everybody in this country. <sighs> Jesus Christ. When you have to activate the National Guard in Virginia and Maryland and Washington, D.C., to try to control a mob of out-of-control white terrorists you, you who are storming the, 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 the capital of the United States. I, I would spend some time this afternoon watching the BBC coverage of this. It's fucking horrifying. Horrifying. And you can bet your ass that media from around the globe, especially the totalitarian states that have hated us forever because of our attempts at equal protection under a, of the law, our attempts at the r rule of law. And they're going to use this as propaganda, thanks to this rotten dirt bag in the White House, propaganda to show you what the United States really is like. These goddamn human flies, these filthy pigs, the dirt bags who are trying to climb up the wall of, of, of the Capitol building, defiling the American flags they had tied around their filthy, scrawny necks. It, it was just, just, just outrageous. 
I don't know where to go with, uh, with what to say. I would suggest that the people who uh, called themselves supporters of democracy, who four years ago decided not to vote because, you know, I can't vote for Hillary Clinton, or the ones who decided to uh, vote for uh, Jill Steinberg. Oh, well, I'm going to vote for a third party candidate. I'd like to remind those people, and boy, did I have a bunch of them listen to this program. I'd just like to remind you what you are seeing out there is partly the result of your bullshit. You're another group that I just wish would get the fuck out of the country. You people who decided your, your oh, I don't know what you called it, your integrity, that you just weren't going to vote for Hillary. You dumb son of a bitches, every one of you. Jeez. In a remarkable scene, evocative of coups and uprisings associated with authoritarian countries around the world, the capital was put on lockdown as tear gas was deployed inside the citadel of American democracy, and police officers guarding the House chamber drew their pistols in an armed standoff. While the nation's lawmakers fled, the mob made it onto the dais of the Senate where the vice president had stood shortly before. That's a paragraph written by Peter Baker in the New York Times late this afternoon. The capital of the United States, y'all, was invaded by dirtbags, thugs, bums, scum, filth, terrorists, fascists and these son of a bitches are nazis they are they would uh, take a breath hi truth seekers mike malloy here as you know we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the progressive voices network so that means you get fewer program interruptions no corporate commercials and lots of profanity but our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.